Welcome to the NYU Langone Dental Medicine Postdoctoral Residency Program, and thank you for your interest in advanced education in Pediatric Dental Residency Program at Columbia, Missouri. Here's a little information on the leadership of Missouri Columbia site. Our program director is Dr. Daniel Kane. Dr. Akhilesh is our senior associate director, and I, it will be me, Sujata Shivaraman, the associate site director at Columbia, Missouri. Here's a little uh, view of what the clinical requirements of for pediatric dental residency training. One of the foremost training is anesthesiology, which is a 20 days training that will happen at Women's and Children's Hospital. There will be also be a total of 10 days of training in different aspects of pediatric medicine. Then there's also an inpatient pediatric medicine training for five days. All this will happen mostly at Women and Children's Hospital. Every resident needs to complete at least 20 OR cases, the operating room cases, and they will also have to complete 50 cases as PGY and PGY2 in oral sedation. The training in orthodontics with special healthcare needs and teaching will happen throughout your first year and second year of training. The research will also happen with certain milestones throughout the training. So the resident orientation will happen via Zoom. It will be a four-hour presentation with Dr. Kane. The topics include HIPAA, CODA and program requirements, professionalism and expectations, benefits, and cultural diversity. There will also be a separate research orientation, which will help you understand the research process, the timelines, and the available resources, which will help you fulfill the expectations of the research aspect of the training. In addition to this program orientation, research orientation, you will have a site-specific orientation at the site Columbia, Missouri, which will be conducted by our on-site faculty and me. This will include typodon calibration exercises, electronic records for the hospital, where you'll have your rotations, and for the health center, and then uh, site-specific protocols for the hospital, the outpatient rotation at Tiger Pediatrics, and the health center. It will also cover prevention and treatment planning, dental materials, basic topics in pediatric dentistry, and the local uh, health center's expectations. Missouri, this is where this training program is located. Let's uh, talk a little bit about Columbia. Columbia was founded in 1821. It's located in Boone County, and the population is slightly a little over 120,000. It's home to three different colleges, Mizzou, Columbia College, and Stephens College. It's located 30 minutes north of Jefferson City, which is our state capital. The main economic drivers of Columbia, Missouri are education, healthcare, and insurance. The fun facts about Columbia are uh, the columns that you see in the picture. They're called as Athens of Missouri. We affectionately call Columbia, Missouri as Como. One of the largest state games in the U.S. is the Show Me State Games, which happens here. They're also home to Rocky Bridge Memorial State Park. And the homecoming celebrations was a tradition that was born right here in Missouri. So as a pediatric dental residency program, I think it's very important for the incoming uh, residents to understand the oral health status of Missouri. So here's a little slide. Here, uh, one in two children that were in third grade had a history of tube decay. 29% have untreated tooth decay, and three out of 10 have protective dental sedums. So our goal as a health center would be is to address this uh, population that's in need for access to care. Every site of NYU Langham has its own story, and here's a slide that shows the story of Columbia, Missouri. The first slide is Dr. Paul Casmosimo, who's my mentor, and he's the reason why I'm a pediatric dentist, and he's the one who instilled the love for training and education within me. Dr. Akuji was my senior associate director at Holyoke, Massachusetts, Lutheran slash NYU Langone program, where I trained from 2010 to 2012. And Dr. Daniel Kill is my mentor and was my program director during my training. NYU Langone is very supportive with our research efforts. An example is me. I was able to get the New Smile Graduate Student Research Award and able to publish a research paper in the AAPD Journal, even though we were the first site in Massachusetts. A little bit about Compass Health, our mission, inspire hope,
promote wellness. Compass Health Network takes a person-centered, integrated approach to caring for customers. This healthcare model focuses on treating the whole person and is a collaboration of care involving the individual customer, personal providers, and when appropriate, family members. Our efficient, effective services are enhanced by data and technology to ensure customers receive evidence-based care delivered in the right way at the right time and in the right place. This is very similar to what it is in pediatric dentistry. We focus on the whole child and it is a collaboration of care with the parents, the child, and the provider by themselves. A little history of Family Health Center slash Compass Health. So Compass Health is the current name, but we started off as Family Health Center. It was established as a collaborative effort in 1992. In 1999, we became an FQHC or a federally qualified health center. Dental services were first added to this FQHC in 2002. Then we expanded our dental services to Salisbury and Marceline. Those are off-site, which are like an hour away from Columbia, Missouri in 2005 and 2009. We added the Columbia East location, which is a pediatric dental location in 2015. Worldly Dental was added to the biggest medical building of Compass Health in 2019. And Family Health became Compass Health through a merger in 2020. This merger brings a lot of opportunities and it's gonna help us in increasing access to care and improve the quality that we provide to our patients. Our service area of Compass Health is across the state. We are located in the central region of Missouri where Compass Health has multiple medical, dental, and behavior clinics in the western and the eastern region of the state. Here are some pictures of our team. There are wonderful assistants who are pediatric dental assistants and trained to see mainly only kids. It's Naomi, Stephanie, Tiffany, and Michelle. Then we have a wonderful friend us who are awesome. That's Alida and Melissa. Here's a picture of your faculty at the site. In addition to all the wonderful faculties that you will have across the country in NY Langone, and you will be able to communicate through video teleconference. The main faculty are Dr. Gardner. She is in private practice and is also available at the health center two times a week to help with the teaching um, activities. She's also a graduate of NYU Langone Sprinkle program and was a chief resident when she was training. We're also very happy to have Dr. Crystal Weya join us recently. She is an NYU Langone Rhode Island graduate and also served as a chief resident in her own program. And then in the center is me and I will be the site program director and I'm a full-time faculty and will be available to help all the five days of the week. Here are our wonderful PGYN residents. Dr. Chris Garden, he's from Boston University. Dr. Amanda Morgenthal is from New York, Tara College. Dr. David Kim is from Temple University. And Christy Tran is from Midwestern University, Arizona. We were very happy to have them here. Here's our residency coordinator, Courtney Lee. She started off like eight years ago as my pediatric dental assistant and has stayed with me through the progress and development of the site. She had to leave for personal reasons, but decided to join us back when she knew the mission and the passion of the residency was coming into reality. Here's a little map showing where you will have to be for your various rotations and clinical requirements. Everything is within 10 to 15 minutes duration of travel. The main location will be 2475 Broadway Bluffs location where will be the clinic, the pediatric dental clinic on a daily basis. Occasionally, you'll be posted at the West Worley Street, Columbia location, and all your rotations, except for the pediatric outpatient, will be at Women and Children's Hospital, and the Tiger Pediatrics will be the place where you will have your pediatric outpatient rotation. Here are the pictures of our uh, Columbia East location. We have four closed rooms and six open chairs. It's a Wonderful picture of Tiger Pediatrics where you will have your outpatient rotation for 10 days. This is a picture of Women's and Children's Hospital where all your rotations will be, which includes inpatient pediatric medicine rotation, anesthesiology, emergency room, and after I was on call. Advocacy. NYU Langon program really be believes in advocacy training. So as part of a resident, you will have to complete 
six individual level, four community level, and two legislative level advocacy projects. And this will help you understand and prepare you for the future advocacy efforts we have to take as a pediatric dentist. Here are a few strengths of NYU Langone Dental Medicine education from our own residents, which also includes me. My favorite is, I know of no other program that provides such exposure to need and outreach. Our program trains the hands that heal the helpless. The other one is like, which I very much love, is love being associated with residents located around the country. The sharing of experiences, education, and faculty wisdom was priceless. Here, yeah, we do have fun. We work hard, but we have lots of fun. That's a photo of me with uh, a baby of one of my assistants, Stephanie. There are wonderful residents having a meal at IHOP and enjoying. And down there is Dr. Gardner with her baby and some of her assistants who are dressed up for Halloween. And there goes our residents with lots of fun. Thank you, feel free to email me if you have any questions. And thank you again for your interest in the Pediatric Dental Residency Program training at Columbia, Missouri. Thank you, have a good day.